What is up everyone, Ryan here again, this time coming at you with another edition of what's happening. This time I'm going to do iPad edition. I'm going to be checking out a couple of apps that I use a lot and I think you should be using as well. So just to get things started, we're going to go over a couple more common ones then move on to some more obscure other ones that I like but I'm sure that people haven't heard of before. So without further ado, let's get started. First two I want to check out are Pulse and Flipboard. These two are very similar. I'm going to go ahead and open up Pulse here. They're both news apps, use RSS feeds to record, not record, but to stream data to you. So we see here, this gives you all your favorite websites if you're in a life hacker, Techno Buffalo, and Gadget. So we can go ahead and check out the Samsung Galaxy S3 review. Click on that, go ahead and read. There's some extra pictures at the bottom. This is Pulse, you can add different tabs. Tech, as you can see here, news, life, health, and stuff. There's a plethora of more. Let's see what else you can add. Browse catalog or choose a pack. So pack you have technology, home and living, business, food, science, gaming, sports, entertainment, and politics. So you got a lot of stuff to choose from here. And this is Pulse. Flipboard, as I said, very similar. There it is. It's got this nice front page. Flip to go to the next. Set again similar types of stories and topics that you can choose from. Just flip through. You can check out baseball. Mike Trout, great catch the other night. Probably scroll down and check out the video on the Angels website. There it is. I'm not going to show that to you. But again, it's the same sort of stuff. Like I said, I could go to Engadget as well and look at the Samsung review. The Samsung Galaxy S3 review from T-Mobile. There it is, loads up. Same sort of thing, it's just a different interface. You gotta flip. This includes the whole article instead of Pulse, which just had a snippet, and then the rest of it was on the website. So that is Flipboard. Those two, I said, very popular. Again, here, you can use Safari. Safari is a good browser built in, go ahead onto Google and search something, but it's kind of limited. So you also have in the App Store Dolphin. Dolphin Browser is a replacement for Safari. You can go ahead and put in these speed dials where you can put your favorites. Go ahead and click on the YouTube channel. And you can scroll around, watch videos, check out the last one I made, and stuff like that. You can also add these different webzine content, which is kind of like the normal web page, but then they kind of simplify it for you. So if you want to go to PC Gamer, this was preloaded on here. I haven't really used the webzine very much, but you can see it's similar to Flipboard and Pulse, where they have the little chunks cut out for all the different articles, and it's obviously a lot less cluttered than the regular website. So that is Dolphin HD, a great other browser for you to use. Next one, I'm going to go over 3030. This is a great little app to help you manage your time a little bit better. So what it does is it's got this clean and simple interface. All you do is pinch apart and you can put your own new task down on here. Change the color up here. So let's say we want to do YouTube. There it is. And then you can click on a logo. Let's say we want to watch the TV logo. There it is. And we change the color to red because YouTube is red. And then we want to spend only 22 minutes on YouTube. So then you hit done. And you can add another one underneath. So there we go. Then we want to eat afterward. Eat. Eat. We're going to spend 10 minutes eating. Then you could get some gas. Not related to eating, but for your car. <laughs> then to swipe off, you can erase it. Obviously, YouTube. If you want to edit it, you double tap. We want to spend more than 22 minutes on YouTube, so we'll do an hour and five. And then you hit done. And then when you're ready to go, all you need to do is hit the play button, and it starts counting down. Simple as that. To stop or pause, you pause it, and you hold to stop. It. And then if you want to restart it, you hit it again, or if you don't want to use it, you just swipe it off. So there you go, that is 3030, a pretty nice little app there. 
Next one I want to show you is Air Media Center. So here's Air Media Center. All you really need to do is get the client on your computer as well. It works for Mac and PC. You just need to boot that up and allow your computer to communicate with your iPad. It works with your iPhone, everything else, and allows you to stream videos that are on your computer and not on your iPad over your Wi-Fi network onto your device. I don't have anything set up right now, but once you do, all you need to do is search for computers or you can manually add it, and it will allow you to stream movies that you have uploaded to your computer, but maybe you have a small iPad um, and the space is running out, so you need to upload over Wi-Fi, and then you can stream from your computer onto your iPad. Very nice app for those who have big movie library or smaller iPad storage capabilities. Either way, it is a very cool app to use. Finally, that brings us to a little game that I enjoy playing, Jetpack Joyride. Now, this game has been out for a while, so I'm sure a lot of you have played it, but it is pretty fun and free in the App Store, so I'm definitely down for that. So here you go, you run, tap the screen, jump, you want to collect the coins, you want to avoid the zappers, those little yellow things here, and the scientists run along the way, they don't really have anything to do with anything. You're going to have different vehicles, see if I can get one of these, you get a teleporter, and these vehicles allow you to transport, or you have a bike sometimes, and you can get a magnet that allows you to collect the coins. So this is a jetpack joyride. Pretty fun. As you can see, I ran into a zapper when I stopped playing, and I will show you what happens. Here we go. So there we go. I died. You want to try and get as far as possible, and then at the end you just have one of these little spins. There you go. 750 meter head start next time. Pretty fun. Lots of replay value. You can rank up different challenges, here are the missions, you can do different types of things, and it's a pretty cool game just to enjoy and play. So that's it, I want to thank you guys for watching, I hope that you enjoyed these different apps, and maybe we'll start checking these out yourself. If you have any other app ideas or comments on these, always feel free to leave a comment or message me on YouTube. As always, I thank you guys for watching, and I look forward to talking to you next time. See ya!